sector who are facing the hard economic times of COVID-19. To have this discussion with us is the Kenya Private Schools Association Chief Executive Officer Peter Ndoro joining us virtually. Thank you so much, Mr. Ndoro, for talking to us uh, this morning. So you're seeking a capitation from the government to cushion the private sector, actually private schools. How viable is this? Will the government actually heed to your appeal? Right, Mr. Ndor, if you can hear me, kindly unmute your mic so that we can hear you. Right, apologies for that technical heat you're experiencing right there with the CEO of the Kenya Private Schools Association. We are trying to get a hold of him again so as to ensure that his mic is on so that we can hear his sentiments when it comes to that uh, capitation uh, that uh, they had put a request uh, to the government seeking capitation so as to cushion the private uh, schools uh, from the effect of COVID-19, especially teachers. But as we try to get a hold of him, let's have a look at another story where security agencies in Rombo area in Loitoktok Kajiado County have thwarted attempts by a man to marry off his 14-year-old daughter to an 82-year-old man for 50,000 shillings. He took the courage of the young girl to flee from home, spend the dangerous cold night in a school away from her determined abusers before help arrived. Ibrahim Karanja has the disturbing story. Call it the shameless run for undeserved freedom. A run from justice. A greed triggered run that in the long run was cut short by the long arm of the law, literally. All for 50,000 shillings, which allegedly this man preferred to the future of his precious 14 year old daughter. You see, when the plan was made in Rombo, Loi Tok Tok, to marry off this innocent girl to an 82 year old man at a price of 50,000 shillings, it was in harsh tones a perfect plan for an imperfect act with a filthy excuse that they could not raise her school fees. <laughs> but with a desire to prosper in future, the child could not just sit and watch her life being auctioned. She took off, notwithstanding the numerous threats lurking in the dark as she spent the night in the cold classrooms of a nearby primary school. <laughs> Ndiyo asubuhi venye tumeza kufika, ndiyo tumeza kumtoa hapo kwa shule, ndiyo tukeza kuelekea kwa wazazi wake. Mstana tulipata habari kwamba alikuwa aozwe kwa mzee wa miaka temanini na mbili. Na wazazi walikuwa wamesha pokea pesa kiasi cha shilingi helfu wa msini. The foiling of this plan by security agencies and human rights activists providing some much-needed positive light in the wake of rising numbers of early marriages and teen pregnancies, especially in this COVID-19 pandemic period. Kama kuna wasitena wananisikia mahali popote walipo, watoto wengine, eh, venye hui msitena hameonesha, ye mwenye hamejiokoa. Kama ingekuwa ni mtu ana, mtoto anaogopa, angeza kujiokoa na hamejiokoa na ndio tukeza kumsaidia. <laughs> The man who shamelessly paid for the girl, now a fugitive at 82. With his accomplice, the girl's father, being detained by police, awaiting arraignment in court. Wale ambao watapatikana wanafanya jambo hili, mujue siku zenu zimeisha. Na kwa machifu, hakuna mtu ambaye atawachiwa. Kama eneo lako, litapatikana vitendo hizi zinaendelea. The act comes in the wake of disturbing reports that up to thousands of young schoolgirls have been abused and are now made young parents. Ibrahim Karanja, KTN News. I'm just trying to imagine 14-year-old being married to an 82-year-old man. Such, such a sad time that the country, that we're facing as a country.